uh, supported our, our approach to market. With AT&T's acquisition of Alien Vault, that put us in quite a bind because nobody exactly views AT&T as channel friendly. They're a great customer of ours and have been for almost 20 years, but uh, nobody wanted them in control of their clients' assets. So it was a huge issue for us. The other thing that we were already struggling with was uh, sort of a lack of flexibility with the product and a pricing model that left us feeling like on any given month, we were only off by one, sometimes two zeros. So uh, it could be 800, it could be 8,000, it could be 80,000. It depended on what the events per second pricing model. It was incredibly challenging to predict our costs and therefore put forth a pricing model that we knew would sell. We had spent six months talking to clients about their frustrations. And uh, we know from selling services that if you can't box it up nice and tight, it doesn't sell. So uh, we were really struggling with that. We made the decision, I think it took uh, longer than I've been talking, or le uh, less time than I've been talking, I'm sorry, to make the decision that we needed to move on uh, when, the, when the acquisition was announced. And uh, for us, we call it a, a beautiful accident. To be candid, we would like to say that we were really super smart and set out to find the best product and that's what led us to Sakyan in the first place. But it's not its not true. This That accident led us to Sakyan because we renewed, we, re, we reviewed our process, we reviewed all of the vendors that we had looked at uh, when we made the selection of Alien Vault and Sakyan was a new entrant in the race. Um, one, of, one of our guys who I trust uh, decided we needed to take a look at it. We came into that process very skeptical uh, because none of us had ever heard of Sakyan and we were uh, frankly looking for, from a, as part of our story and part of our marketing, we felt it was very essential to have a partner that had some credibility because we weren't sure of our own. Uh, so Alien Vault had some uh, brand recognition and some panache in certain segments of the market. So we were skeptical about the entire process. We do some software development of our own. We, we have uh, a, a gentleman who does all our development, leads all our development, and is very well versed in machine learning and AI. And the first demo we had, uh, I'm not sure if I've ever told uh, Chandra or any of the other people sitting here, um, uh, he told me no effing way uh, that they could do what, what they said it was going to do. Uh, about, <laughs> that was his exact words. An hour and a half later, um, he was doing a complete 180, and over the next few weeks, with everything that we saw, he continued to be impressed. Um, and, and even conceded, if any of you do development or know developers, this might have been the toughest moment of his life, even conceded that it was beyond uh, his comprehension how they were doing certain pieces of it. So um, we overcame that initial skepticism very quickly. We tested it a little bit, we saw more and more. So we made the decision to move forward with Sekian as a partner uh, because on top of the technology, what we saw was a company that was incredibly flexible. Everything that was suggested or, or put on the table as things that we needed, they were willing to work with us and that became incredibly important. We had some early trials with uh, other MSPs who are our customers <coughs> who are looking for, from their perspective, they're looking to get into the business as quickly uh, as they can. So. Our, our offering started to gain momentum. We had lost two or three months in the process. And as we reconfigured the offering and brought about a better story, a better product, a better platform, we started gaining a tremendous amount of momentum. So we, we've built on that with our clients and we even revisited people that we sought out early in the process who were either unimpressed by Alien Vault or unimpressed by our story. And when we went back and revisited with those people, things changed very quickly. We were able to talk to them and, and, and we found our voice around the platform in this, in this entire process. And we were able to talk to them about a, a little bit different story. And the AI and machine learning was incredibly important. But what we realized was that we were, we were starting to solve some business problems. So, we set out in some trials with, with uh, clients, and what we found is every time that we deployed, we found problems quickly. Sometimes within as little as 30 minutes, sometimes inside a week. And we had MSPs who were incredibly skeptical. 
uh, skeptical about the technology, skeptical that we could find things as fast, skeptical that we could be as responsive and customize our processes to the way they wanted it to work. Uh, we overcame that rapidly with trials and we continue to talk to our partners as they go to market and talk to them about getting customers. The best way to sell this is it's a very easy to deploy system. We can deploy, we've deployed in as little as uh, four days, uh, I'm sorry, five days, but there was uh, two days off there for uh, the weekend. So it was about three business days. We've had uh, deployments on site and, and uh, in, that was uh, in New York. We're based in Chicago for what it's worth. Um, we were able to get that client on board in those three business days. And in another two days, we were already spotting road traffic. A couple days after that, we realized we were able to point to them that they had uh, a zero day malware already on the network before we had ever arrived. They had been scanning that server over and over and over and couldn't find it. So we've seen that time and time again when we've deployed with our MSPs. Part of our process is to deploy for our MSP partners who are going to resell our platform, that, uh, where the Secium is the, the flagship product in the platform. There's about four or five other complementary technologies, but we lead with the SOC as a service. And we all board them because number one, that's the table stakes of talking to customers. They can't be talking to customers if they're not on a solid footing and, and using the product. And number two, we want them to be able to onboard their clients so we take them through the process and understand it. What we found in doing that, that was our design all along, what we found in doing that is that for them, the proof is truly in the pudding. And every time that we walk them through it and they start to gain information on their network, they're gaining insights from this tool that they didn't have from all the sophisticated tools that they already had on their network. And they tell us over and over how grateful they are for that piece of it. Their clients are gaining that same insight every time. Even just knowing what's on their network is novel for most of them because when we talk to customers about how many devices they have and those things, what we found is nearly 100% of the time, whatever they give us is garbage in terms of access. They have no concept of how many cameras they have throughout their facility, how many IoT sensors are riding a network, uh, how many people come and go and put their devices onto the network in a given day. They're not even thinking about those things. So we've seen rapid success and rapid adoption with customers being able to trial very quickly, get, get it out, get it deployed, get them on board, and let the customer see that information. It's the best selling tool that there is, is for them to actually see it and try it. It's a very low cost of entry to the sale compared with the uh, some of our MSPs telling us that they traditionally have 90 to 120 day sales cycles sending between two and four people to the customer over and over and over and over again for meetings. To be able to deploy a virtual container, show them what's going on in a virtual collector, show them what's going on in a matter of weeks, it's a few hundred dollars worth of time and effort to get it up and get doing some basic collection and some basic demo for them. Much more powerful tool. So that's been our story. What we noticed almost immediately is that when we started deploying this tool, we started looking at the staffing models and the cost models that we had built around a SOC with Alien Vault, our staffing models have plummeted. Um, I've seen some statistics in the marketing materials and things like that. I'm here to tell you that uh, we're running way lower uh, manpower than, those, than, than some of the, the, the marketing that's out there. The reduction for us in, in manpower has been closer to 80% reduction in what we forecasted. The ability of the machine learning uh, to solve a lot of problems or to make rapid suggestions to our analysts has cut down on our tier two uh, and has far more uh, enabled our tier one analysts to be useful quickly. So uh, as our team has gotten more and more well-versed in the Sekion tool, and as the tool has continued to advance, what we're finding is we're saving hours per incident that would have had to happen with just the research when you look at some of the, some of the older style tool sets, which frankly we view just about everything out there as, a, as an older style tool set. Everything we looked at was ultimately based on the same technology. So, We've seen significant advancements. What that means for us is that, and this is where we really found our voice with our partners and what our partners are starting to parrot out to their customers. What it means for us is that we're solving a couple of critical business problems. 
we went to RSA, spent a, a couple days out there wandering around, and uh, I felt like every day was deja vu all over again. We were looking at uh, <coughs> seven or 800 booths out there, an entire Moscone Center full of the same stuff over and over. It was like being at Mall of America where there's 600 stores owned by like six major brands. So um, we saw this over and over. <laughs> So what we realized is there's a tremendous problem out there in the marketplace. It really talks about the lack of skilled people. That's definitely an issue. There's 1,200 point solutions out there that everybody's competing for the end user's attention. Every time they buy one of them, it creates more information, shows more problems, things they have to fix, exacerbating the people problem that we have. So what we've realized is that we have a powerful technology story with our partnership with Sekion, and we're continuing to work together to make it even better. But more importantly, we have a practical solution for a customer. We're not out there selling snake oil. We're trying to solve a business problem. Every tool has its challenges. We feel that we've selected the best uh, UTM platform, the most flexible and the best partner to put our customers and their customers in a good place, to put them on a, 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 a proactive footing as opposed to constantly reacting. But more importantly, we're showing them how to cost effectively solve this business problem of weeding through all the noise of this solution, that solution, with condensed and consolidated an entire series of point solutions into the Sekion solution. So if we bring six or seven key elements into one, we manage it for them and we're able to deliver on their behalf. For our MSP clients, it's important that they continue to own the customer. If you don't own the customer, we don't own the paper. They're building their brand value. They're able to get to revenue recognition. On average, uh, our bars sign their first deal in under 60 days. It's running about 35, 36 days. They're able to go out and get a deal together. Some of them have brought us uh, their first contracts in as short as uh, 10 to 12 days. They had them probably in their pockets, I would assume, but we're getting quote opportunities from, uh, from the time we sign a contract with an MSP. They're bringing us quote opportunities in less than a week. And then that sales cycle, like I said, is a lot, a lot of them for their first is another 30 or so days. So that's pretty impressive. And the way we're accomplishing that is by giving them the opportunity to do these demos, bring customers on quickly, and showing them how well the technology works, giving them uh, an easy out if they don't buy into it. And so far, uh, candidly, with our, our, our since we brought Sekian into the platform, with all of the MSPs we've talked to, we had exactly one say uh, no to us. Uh, they didn't like the dashboard, uh, which told us that uh, they were more interested in the settings than uh, efficacy. So that's probably not. That's been our journey. We're, we, we couldn't be happier. Uh, we continue to bring forth ideas and, and Chandra and the team have been incredibly receptive to integrating other pieces with us. Uh, we're trying to add some of our own intellectual property to the mix and um, bring forth uh, some more, uh, a, a better value prop to our MSPs who um, just came to like, you know, a lot, a lot of folks don't have the, the financial wherewithal the time or the intellectual horsepower to put together a, a SOC that's uh, NIST compliant, which we expect to be uh, in short order this year. We'll be going for our audit on that. So we're trying to bring it forth in that fashion and deliver, and uh, we, we just couldn't be happier with all that. I'm sure if you guys are uh, using the platform, you've all experienced the same sort of uh, results that we have. So I don't have anything more to add to that. I thought it'd be a uh, few minutes here if there's any questions about what our experience has been with the caveat that I might be the least technical person in our organization. So I might have to defer to Michael technically in the background or uh, write down your question. I got some awesome guys who are actually out in Vegas uh, today 